Okay, everyone, we would like to welcome you to the Vehicle Scraper and Lister introduction video. The goal of this video is to show you two main things. First of all, how to download the, the uh, Chrome extension, the tool, uh, and then also how this tool works, uh, some of the main features so that you can use it to save a ton of time listing vehicles onto Facebook Marketplace. Okay, so first and foremost, what we want to do is we want to make sure your Chrome extension or your browser extension is up to date. Very, very simple. A lot of times extensions do not work if your uh, browser has not been updated. So how do you do that? Very, very simple. This is Microsoft Edge. I'm going to show you. You just click on the three dots, top right corner, go down to help and feedback about Microsoft Edge, and then it's going to check for updates. And uh, if it needs to be updated, it's going to update it here, and then you'll have to restart it. Very, very easy. Um, if you do this through uh, Chrome, same type of thing, top three dots, go down to the bottom, go down to help about Google Chrome. It's going to check for updates. Uh, once it, if it, it will say it's already updated. If it doesn't and it needs to update, you just, you update it and then hit relaunch. Very, very easy, uh, simple to use. Okay. So let's, I'm going to go back to Microsoft Edge for this video. I'm going to be using Edge, but uh, most will probably be using uh, uh, Google Chrome. Uh, for their extension both work the same exact way so once you get this downloaded okay and you've updated updated your chrome extension you're going to have your link in your email that will take you to the chrome web store where you will download the extension uh, you just click download or get extension or add extension and it's going to add it to your to your uh, browser now once it does that you're going to go up to the top here and there's like this icon it looks like a little puzzle piece Okay, it's the extension icon. When you hover over it, it just says extensions. What you're going to do is you're going to click on that, and then you're going to go down, and you will see Vehicle Scraper and Lister in here. To the right of that, you're going to see an eyeball on Microsoft Edge. Click that eyeball, because what that does is it pins it to the top here. It makes it very easy for you. You see how that is up there now? Now to open the tool, I just click on that. On Chrome, it's the, it looks like a puzzle piece, a little bit different, a little modern puzzle piece. You click on that. This icon is a pin. You just click on the pin and you see now our logo, little blue logo there. It's a marketplace logo with the red car in the middle. Very, very simple. So then I just click on the tool. Let me go back to, to Edge here. So now once I have that pinned, what do I do? To open the tool, I just click on the icon and you see how all of a sudden on the right side of my computer, boom, there it is. The tool has popped up. To close it, I just click on the X at the top right corner and it closes it. To open it, just click on the icon again. Very, very simple. Now, once this pops up, the very first thing you need to do is you need to put your user ID and password in here. This is user specific to you, and it will only work for you as an individual that has signed up for this unless you are set up as a dealership. So very, very easy to use. You're going to put your user ID in here uh, and then put your password. And this is case sensitive. So if you don't put it in correctly, uh, it will not work correctly. Um, and then you're going to hit verify at the bottom. Uh, if you enter incorrectly, you'll see what will happen. It'll say invalid user ID or password. Now, if you feel you've entered it in right and everything's correct, and you still get this. Go to the top here where it says need help. Click here and you're going to click that button. It's going to take you to a website on that website. We have a ton of troubleshooting videos and how to use the tool and all sorts of stuff. But at the very bottom is a form that you can fill out, fill that form out if you need help with anything. Okay. And you will be put into a queue where one of our tech support members will give you a call. But uh, once I do that and I got it correct, I'm going to hit verify. And then you will know that it's right because it turns green and says account is active. So perfect. Now, once that is happening, let's go back up to the top here. There are three uh, items up at the top. One says vehicle category, emoji, and distance. Now on this, this is which category will automatically list your vehicle in on Facebook Marketplace. For cars and trucks, so you want to list one or the other, car slash truck or other, okay? Uh, the difference is on car slash truck, just remember it will not fill out everything for you, okay? You will manually have to fill out the v body style and the interior and exterior color. So uh, if you do other, it fills out everything for you. It's fully automated. Now, just remember on car slash truck, you cannot list brand new vehicles. So if you have a brand new vehicle, make sure you come in here and select other. Um, otherwise, Facebook will flag it. So uh, if you have brand new cars, 
make sure you come under other and list it. If you're listing something else like an RV boat or whatever power sports, make sure you select the correct category here. Okay. Um, to the next here, emoji. So on this, you can select no emoji, but you could select an emoji. What is this emoji and where does it go? It goes directly in the title. We do that because it makes the listing stand out a little bit more. We have found that you get a little bit more traction when you do list it. But if you don't like the emoji, you think it doesn't look right, just click no emoji. But I'm going to use an emoji for the moment. Distance, make sure you select either kilometers or miles, whatever is appropriate to your area. Now, right below, you're going to see a box that says listing description. Now, this is very unique here. So we have three different options for your listing description, okay? Three different options. One, you can type in whatever I want. If I type in, you know, this is a test message, uh, you know, call me. It is going to copy and paste this and put this in the listing description exactly how I've typed this out, okay? You could do that or you can use add dealership vehicle description. When, it, when I click this, when I go to my third party sites, such as auto trader, cars.com, car gurus, whatever, and I, and I list that vehicle, whatever is on that dealership description, the vehicle description is going to copy and paste that. Now, just remember where that can be a little challenging is sometimes the dealership will put things in there. You do not want in there, such as the dealership phone number or the dealership website, or it's going to say, come into the dealership. And you don't want that necessarily in there. So that can be a problem. So be careful, kind of examine what that has. We have given a third option, and this is the best option. We have developed AI to actually write the description for you. So now, when I click this, notice it changes. It says add AI instructions. So it says write your AI instructions. What does that mean? Well, basically, you just tell the AI basically what you want in the listing. Okay. I have copied and pasted one. Oh, wrong one here. So let me go to this. Let's just say I, uh, I'm i going to say mention the title of the vehicle at the beginning of the description. Mention the miles of the vehicle. Okay. Um, I'm also going to want to say, let's say, for example, example, mention that we uh, can accept all types of credit. And then I'm going to say, uh, call Trevin, that's my name, or I'll say message, because we're not going to want to put a phone number in there. Message Trevin for a test drive or more details okay i'm also going to put something interesting at the bottom here add seo hash tags uh, for the vehicle model and make and also similar vehicles okay i'm gonna leave it at that okay i and you can play around with this however you want it but very very easy i'm gonna leave it at that it's gonna save this and uh, it will use this these ai instructions each time afterward now okay so let's go to uh let's start with auto trader here when i go to your when you go to your auto trader page uh you will notice a button is going to pop up at the left corner here, it looks like a little blue button says post to Facebook. Once I post it, it's going to change to orange. It tracks that for you. You can post it again, but it just helps you kind of keep track of what's going on there. If I go to car gurus, uh, the button is going to pop up. You will see here uh, in a second once. And if it doesn't pop up, just refresh your screen. But it pops up in the photo here at the bottom uh, right corner. Blue post to Facebook button. Cars.com. Uh, very, very uh, similar. As you will see once this pops up and typically just give it a second for the button to pop up and you'll see it pops up at the bottom corner here post to facebook if i go to carsforsale.com uh, you're going to see the button is going to pop up right in this section here so very simple very very easy to use let's use auto trader though for uh, this particular uh, test so let's say i want to list this 2008 mercedes all i do is I am going to, uh, what I am going to do though, is I'm going to close these for the moment. 
just so it saves a little bit of computing space here. I'm going to click post again. I've already posted this, but notice what it's going to do. Um, and just so you know, it's probably going to go a little bit slower since I'm running a Loom video here recording this. Um, but it's going to utilize AI and it's going to analyze everything. Um, and then it's going to pull up uh, a shot of the photos and our AI is going to grab this vehicle. Uh, as you watch, uh, my internet's going a little bit slow. My computer's running a little slow, but you'll see the photos are going to pull up and it's going to automatically open Facebook marketplace. Uh, and then it is going to uh, start listing out. Uh, I remember I had this selected as other and it's going to go through and do uh, its thing here. And notice what it did. Really cool. Uh, AI uh, added all this information just like I asked it to, right? It says we accept all types of credit. Message Trevin today for a test driver, more details. And then notice it added the hashtags so that it is SEO optimized for people looking for vehicles. Really cool little feature that we that we set in there. So if I wanted to, and then you can see here it added the emoji right after the model. If I wanted to, I could have clicked add miles add mileage to this and it would actually put the miles directly into the top, into the model right after the model there to help it stand out even more so really really cool feature uh, very very easy to use um, super super simple so uh, you just play around with the adding the AI instructions um, and uh, you can use something very similar I actually misspelled similar there um, but notice it was smart enough to figure that out um, but play around with it um, and if you do car slash truck just remember that it will have to fill out a few things now how do you find your dealerships um, page i just want to show you something really quick here so uh, for example when i go here um, and i am looking for my dealerships auto trader page cars.com page or whatever the case may be uh, very simple i'm using microsoft edge all you do is you just do a search and let's say, just say for example i worked at lithia uh, Chevrolet uh, Redding. Okay, uh, that's where I'm at here. Uh, I need to probably capitalize this. I'm going to type out the name of the dealership roughly, and then I'm going to say uh, Auto Trader, and I'm going to go through here, and I'm going to find their Auto Trader page uh, in the search results here. I would do the same thing for Cars.com, Cars.com, right? And I could find their Cars.com page in the results here. So I would click, I could see it here. Same thing for car gurus. I'm gonna find their car gurus page. I would click here. You could see it in the in the results. So very, very simple to find uh, your uh, for your dealership. Now, uh, let me go to Google. I do wanna show you one other thing here. So we can also do Google. So let's do Lithia. Let's say I'm gonna type in my dealership. So let's just say I'm at Lithia Chevrolet of Reading. So if I go to Google here on the, once I find my dealership, if you see here, it, it uh, pulls it up on the right side, the dealership, which is the GMB listing, the Google My Business. If you scroll down, this is really interesting. You're gonna see a section that says vehicles for sale and then it says view all. If I click on that here, um, what will happen is you will see it's gonna pull up uh, some of the vehicles because Google does go through and, and scrape for uh, the vehicles. And if I go to this uh, particular, uh, page here, um, what it will do is uh, very, very simple. Uh, I don't have my login on Chrome here, but let's let me copy and paste that over uh, here to, uh, to Microsoft Edge. Uh, and if I do that to the vehicles um, here, I'll show you what happens. You're going to notice a button is going to pop up on here as well. Very, very easy to use. By the way, you don't have to have this open. Uh, I can close this now. I don't need to open the tool anymore. Uh, all you do is just go to that page uh, and uh, but you can see now the post to Facebook button has popped up over here. So uh, just a little trick. Let's say, for example, this was my dealership. What I'm going to do, because you don't need to open the tool anymore. The tool it will save everything here. You just need to go directly to the auto trader page, cars.com page, whatever page. I would save this to your favorites here. Click here. Save this to my uh, I would save it to my favorites bar. Click done. And once I do that, all I need to do from that point on is, is, is go to my, my favorites, click on it and uh, go directly to the page. And that way I don't have to do a search for it all the time. I just go directly to the page and then boom, the button is going to automatically pop up for you. So you can do that for all the different pages. Very, very easy to use, very simple. So if you run into any problems, just remember, click need help, click here.
It's going to go over to the website, the support page. And just if you can't figure out through the uh, the videos are here, just go to the bottom, fill out the form. And one of our uh, reps will give you a call to walk you through how to use the tool. So we look forward to helping you absolutely crush it with it. If you need help, reach out to us. We're here for you. And uh, we look forward to help you out with anything you need in the future.